Hey, 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 what's up my crypto fans? So today's video, we're going to go over the update of PGV. Now, yes, you've been getting daily updates from a lot of YouTubers. Yes, you've been getting updates from Manny. But I'm going to give you my views on what these updates mean. I did call out in my last video that I think the loan wasn't going to happen. And shock, it did not happen. But now he's saying it was delayed because of his own personal assets. So what is next update has been in the video? What is new timelines are? We're going to go over quickly in this update. So if you want to find out what my thoughts are, stay tuned and let's go crypto. What up? So for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Christian and it's Crypto OG, where I give you the news, reviews and overviews in the crypto, DeFi and sometimes NFT space. And I also call out a lot of bullshit in DeFi, which PGV is absolutely riddled with it. And of course, the mandatory waffle, anything you see here or choose to ignore is not financial advice. Now, I want to bring this update out quickly and I'll go through some key factors and one's going to be really big, but let's get managed BS out of the way first. So as you can see here, he released the video and fair play to him. He's coming out with a lot of updates. The Discord's inundated with updates. So whether people have, um, he's had enough of the threats, which I don't agree with. So guys and girls, please try and stop threatening him. You know how I feel about that. There was another project called Seifu and, and Vulcan by Brian Legend. He had the same kind of crap and I'm a big advocate of that. So please don't do that. Remember, he is human. Remember, you won't like that done to yourself, no matter what's happened. Um, they don't deserve that. So let, let, let's chill out on that. For the people that were kind of bashing the last video, I did get a lot, a bit of kickback on that, which I don't mind, because that's what my channel's for. We're here for open reviews and closed reviews and good or bad. Remember what I said did come true though. The loans didn't happen. They are notoriously difficult to get, which which I've told you. If you know and done a little bit of research after that, you'd see what I'm saying was pretty true. I stick to facts and stats that I know. And so far, every call I've made on PGV has come true. So as much as you want to bash it and hate it, you 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 can't fight fate. You know, you can't you can't deny the facts and stats. But again, it's your opinion. I appreciate it. I appreciate you watching the channel anyway, good or bad. Um, I'm still going to call the bullshit out. So <laughs> whether you bash my videos, projects or what, or dislikes it, you, the bullshit's still coming. So, you know, I'm sorry to dampen your opium. But let's have a quick look at Manny's, Manny's update. I've just took a clip out of this because it's a bit of a long video. But let me let me just focus on this little bit here. The problem is people don't accept that real information. They get upset. They don't like the information. And like, oh, it's, 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 he's scamming us. Oh, this is a rug. Oh, this, or it's just, it's just a, it's a bunch of nonsense. Okay. So with that being said, um, very simple. Okay. This is what you need to be focused on. This is where your expectations should be. Okay. Stop setting your expectations too high. Right. Okay? Um, don't set your expectations as I'm going to get it, you know, because, um, you know, the loan is supposed to be available within 72 hours or whatever the case is. Don't set your expectations for that specific time, okay? Um, because it's just it's not smart to do. So what I'm telling everybody right now, this is what everybody needs to be focusing on. How I do it, it doesn't matter, okay? It shouldn't matter how I do it, the way I do it. It shouldn't matter. This is what you need to be focusing on right here. This date by the end of March 31st, this is where you need to be focused on, all right? This is right here. Nothing more, okay? I've already... So as you can see from that, he is saying, don't focus on dates, but now do focus just on this new revised date. Now he's come out and said he's going to give in the Discord to say he's going to give more updates. But now he's saying the 31st is definitely going to happen. Come what may, this is the final, final, final of the final, final. And that it will happen and the loan's going to drop supposedly today by close of pay in the next four or five hours. The, he's going to have this loan. I think, again, that's bullshit. He ain't going to have no loan in four hours. If we have a look at the contract, no money's been pumped into that. Now, have a look at these two things from Manny in the Discord. So this one here is saying that he is had enough, but the loan is going to come. And in this one, he's saying that he is going to continue to update, but he's, you know, he's basically saying that he's human, you know, he's whining again, that he's, he's going to get it out and he's blaming people not doing 
um, a refund form properly or too many. Well, that ain't got nothing to do with the one wallets he's already got. So why why don't you listen to your own advice, Manny, and just focus on what you've got to focus on and not, not the bull crap? You should be able to turn, learn to switch off. A lot of your investors switch off on your bullshit. So why don't you switch off on the bullshit that's coming in from the, the angry investors? Just take your own advice there, mate. And also, I know you watch this video, man. It's, again, I'm not bashing you. I've got nothing against you. You've got people that bum the project this side. You've got people that really hate the project. I'm in the middle. I don't hate it, but I don't bum it. And for instance, that I'm not here to bash you. I'm here to bash the bullshit you're saying. So every time you come out with this kind of crap about now you're using personal assets and loans, when we know if you've got the money, why would you want to use personal assets and loans? Do you know what I mean? Just pay people back. If you've always had the money all along, you should have just used that money to pay them back. Rather than now you've got to give 120%, maybe even 135% of your money to get all the money back into the contract. It just doesn't make sense. So we're going to call this bullshit out again, Manny. Um, and hopefully you, the investors watching this, do wake up and think, and if you've done your research, think, well, if he's had that money all along in his personal assets and he does believe it's coming back from the exchanges, why doesn't he just pay us back and then he gets the money back? That way he gets no interest. Everyone would have got paid back. He's had the money all along. Everyone would have been refunded by now. So that's a big, big question. So, Manny, if you ever feel like coming on an AMA, just to answer that question, that would be lovely for everyone. Um so obviously there's no money coming yet and I, like i say i'm i'm filming this video four hours before the deadline there's no update here you've seen the, the updates the latest updates on discord so let me just leave you with this one question and obviously haters on the channel you you also leave your comments because i'd love to hear them as well because i want to know both sides or what people are thinking is Take these key takeaways before this next deadline. So the 31st is meant to be when everyone's getting paid back, but the loan needs to come in two days before apparently for him to do it. Now, he can't do it in two days because we've already heard him. He can't do it. He told you not to fix on dates, but yes, you need to fix on the last date of the final, 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 final. And also, if he's using personal assets, we pretty much know that you would have to have at least 120%, maybe 135% of that personal asset to get enough loan to pump, just to do the refunds, never mind to pump into the contract to release the USDC. So therefore, he could have just paid everyone back because he's had the money all along. So they're big key takeaways, but I hope you find this update um, useful. If you don't, just do what you normally do. Bash me in the comments hit the dislike and i'll just call out the next bit of bullshit when it comes in a couple of days but i do appreciate the support on the channel you 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 guys are really great honestly you 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 really do support this so that's why i do these updates because i want to give a little bit back but as always trade smart trade safe and don't believe the bullshit